to talk that shit. Talk that shit. Talk that shit. Listen, man. Listen, That's man. what I'm talking about. Let me say something. He got a... That shit, that's how you live, that's how you live. Yeah, that shit, man, listen, man. Listen, man. They got an old yeah. nigga in here sweating in out of breath and shit. Listen, that's that Reggie, yeah, man. man. But you're now, um, you're now tuned into Mimi, 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 Million Dollars Worth of Game. We got Big Glow here, man. It's going down. Yes. We're in Memphis, man. Yes. We had the old crib she was at months yes. ago. Just months ago. Mm-hmm. It was going down. I said, what? Wait, who you say, though? I said, Big Glow. BG. Oh. What? BG. Right. What? BG from Memphis. You don't know Big Low. I know Lil Hallelujah. Nah. <laughs> from Frazier. You know Lil Hallelujah from Frazier. Damn. 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 Press some charges, got it. <laughs> she shocked me for real. She got one on for me. But little hallelujah has turned into big blow. Hey now. BG. It Thank was just you, April. It was just April and now and now you all the way up. Uh mm. how does it feel to be to be able to be you? In a world where everybody capping and everybody faking them, you know, you ain't had to change who you was and you just brung your authenticity. From the bottom. How do that feel to be winning being you? It feels so lit. Like, damn, I don't got to do all this extra shit just to be where I want to be, you know? Lit shit. I feel blessed. Oh, definitely. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. Now, today, we're going to do a little something different. New Amsterdam Vodka is introducing Wild Card. You hear me? Look at that. Eight ounce can, the first canned beverage that New Amsterdam Vodka has ever distributed. It's right here, wild card, and it's made with real vodka. We're not playing no games, okay? There's not no artificial shit going on. No, this is made with real vodka, and it come in three flavors. Original hard lemonade, classic hard punch, and this right here, lemon hard tea. Yeah, look at it. Eight ounces. Look at it. Real vodka. Look at it. Wild card. When you out and about, wherever you at at your local liquor store or wherever they sell New Amsterdam vodka, make sure you pick you up some. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Try all three flavors. Give all three flavors a try. Figure out which one you like the best. This right here is the lemon hard tea. I think I'm about to crack this open and see what it's about. All right. You go from, uh, you know, chilling in the crib. You know, when you used to be in this house right here, right? What was you dreaming about? What were, what were you thinking about? When I was living in these house, I wasn't having dreams of being a rapper. What you was having dreams of? I used to want to sing. This when I was going to church. All right, drop a tune for us. Because <laughs> we could battle. You know what I mean? Shit. We could battle. I know what I did. Yeah. You know, I, used to, I used to sing a little tune to you. <laughs> My brother said he used to sing. So you used to sing, huh? Yep. On the old stairs right there. Yep. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. Grew up singing in the, in the church. Did you sing in the church? Or yeah, you just... I used to sing in the choir. Oh, okay. Was you good? Was you lead? Or was you just part of the band? I was the lead. I used to get out of solo. Oh, oh shit. So you were singing then. I was singing. <laughs> she was singing, singing. Uh-huh. When Not just hear... that voice that sound good in the bathroom. Oh, okay. Are we going to hear a little bit of that on the album? A little singing? Did you do one a little singing <laughs> on the all. hook? <laughs> Not at all. So it could have been some gangster shit. I don't love you niggas. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch ass niggas. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been some gangster shit. We know what type of time you on. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, I just want to say shout out to you. You know what I mean? Just April. Your video went viral. It seemed like Three months later, you was, like, performing at Rolling Loud or somewhere. Where I seen you at? Uh, that was at the Wireless Festival. Park. Wireless Festival. Like, yeah. So it's like. In and, and London. It's like that growth is, like, unbelievable. Like, I know you be sitting around with your girlfriends like, bitch. Bitch, did Drake just run up on you, bitch? <laughs> 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 that, that nigga, he said he 
love your shit because you got to look at it. Y'all probably was just fans eight months ago. Yeah. Now, eight months later, these people are your peers. You feel what I'm saying? So that's some unimaginable shit when you think about it. Yeah. In the process of that short of time, your shit take off. You meet a, a motherfucking legend like that nigga over there, Gotti, yeah. and you, he just help elevate you. And now it's just you, Gotti. Just like so, I salute you, man. Because Precited. that shit, that shit is hard to do. Appreciate it. They, they, they come from the bottom and get the whole world to look at you. Shit. And one thing that I really love about you, when I always see you, you be moving. Moving around. A lot of times when people come up, they get brand new. You always got glitter with you. That's your home girl. Y'all always together. Y'all always mobbing around. You know, you know, I done been places. I done seen people want to take a picture with you. You pull her. Come on, girl. Get up in this joint. <laughs> you know, a lot of times we come from a place where we don't know how to share, Sean. Yeah. You know, because everybody just want to do it by themselves. You know, uh, what keeps you grounded? You know? Um, Like, you know, these folks I struggle with. Like, I struggle with them. You know, we all had the dream. But as long as we used to have talks about it all the time, like long talks, we used to be just broke as hell in the house talking about we going to do it. Mm-hmm. One day we broke as hell right now, but we going to figure this shit out one day. <laughs> and so now that it happened, it's like this shit crazy. Like we, it be, it's still shocking to us. It's still surreal to us. But in tomorrow, you was checking a lot of motherfuckers. <laughs> a lot of people got goofy though. A lot of people, you yeah. know, and I think they come up with success, but I think, oh, uh, I believe what you got going on with yourself and just being you and staying grounded. Cause you know, every, everybody that speak about you within the industry and the game, every time they mention your name, it just be like, yo, she just so down to earth. She humble. She real. And it's different. I'm talk. I talk to different people. We talk, you know, and it's just so many different people that just like, yo, she real. She like to be how big you is. Cause what I believe is, and I think will keep you so grounded. I don't even think you know how big you is out here. I don't even know how, that you realize how much of a big deal you is in the world. Not just in Memphis, not in, you know, not in Atlanta, not in L.A., not in America, in the world. And how you making this, these women feel, you know, I could be myself, you know. Yeah. I could be like, like, you know, even with me seeing Glitter, just I'm rocking coach. I ain't got no burger. <laughs> I know that's right. You know how many every you know how many everyday real women that was getting like they was feeling left out when they was looking at the gram and they said, "Damn, I ain't the shit if I ain't got this. I ain't the shit if I ain't got that." And it's like, no, you the shit no matter what. Yeah. See, the shit don't make you the shit. You make you make the shit the shit. Thanks. You see know what I'm saying? You make the drip the Thanks. shit. When you that you, when you that bitch, no matter what you do, it's gonna pop. Thanks. No, it ain't the name brand. You the name brand. Mm-hmm. And I see that y'all putting it out there, and I'm just so thankful for that because you know. There's a lot of young girls out there that's watching it, and you know, and they watch the gram, and 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 they be they be in the house, you know, and they be thinking about, you know, they be feeling bad on themselves, you know, uh, and they be they be feeling as though they ain't enough, you know, not just for niggas, just for life, and just you know, women, y'all know y'all competitive than a motherfucker, mm-hmm, you know, child, yeah. y'all competitive, so you know, I just I just salute you for that, and just and just really putting it out there because I think we really needed that in the game. And that's why it's, it's people grabbing that shit and, and, they, and they holding on to it so much because everybody can relate to, to when you being you. It ain't about what you got on. You know what I mean? You ain't got to have no drip. You just, it just come through and it's the energy and don't never let that shit go. You know what I mean? Always, you know, just, just keep being you because you got some special shit, Glow. I'm talking about you got some special shit. And us people from the ghetto, we know, we, we, we can feel it. And it's, and it's something that is, is a... It's a it's a it's an internal connection that you make, and you just got to keep going up on them. Now, um, I got to ask you a quick question to go off topic. Hold on, before you ask that question, let me pay these bills, nigga. Oh, go ahead. Uh, this episode <laughs> of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. <clears throat> now, uh, life ain't going your way. Shout out to New Amsterdam Vodka. <laughs> uh, caught your bitch cheating today. Shout out to New Amsterdam Vodka. <laughs> You thought you was uh, going to a Glorilla concert and it was sold out today. <laughs> Shout out to New Amsterdam Barker. Yes, it's distilled five times. It's filtered three times for a clean, crisp finish. 
Uh, you could drink it straight up. You could drink it on the rocks with juice, with soda, or you could just make a classic, you know, New Amsterdam mule. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'm nervous as shit because, it's you know, somebody's baby is behind that camera and she's looking in that motherfucker like, <laughs> like, she, like she operated. it. <laughs> Be careful over there. All right, baby, we don't want to knock the camera over. But by the way, New Amsterdam vodka, when you're out of body your liquor store, make sure you pick some up. Don't walk past it. You hear me? <laughs> when you're at the liquor store, make sure you scoop it up. It's great. <laughs> it's great for pre <laughs> You know, I'm just saying there's a lot, you know, some shit going on the back. When she was peeking up, looking in the camera, I'm like, you know, somebody's baby is about to tip the camera over. You know what I mean? <laughs> Lay, boo boo. But listen, make sure you get you some new Amsterdam vodka, the yes. official vodka of Bars Through Sports, and the presenting sponsor, me and I was worth a game. Now, let's get back to that question you were now, 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 this is a question that all board, because me and him had a bet. Now, if you just going off of just looks and just things, which one of us would just off the look be a fuck nigga? <laughs> yeah, I think all, all the ladies. No, 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 no. Which one of us would be a fuck nigga? I ain't gonna no, lie. You no, give you... me more fuck nigga fight. Thank, oh. Thank you. I ain't gonna lie. Thank you. I can't lie. I, got, I, 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 I give you a thousand dollars. It give me fuck nigga vibes. I'm fuck nigga. Oh damn! <laughs> you give it to me. I ain't gonna lie. Get a little ass out. You give me that. No, 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 no. 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 You gotta explain. You you gotta explain because a lot of fuck niggas don't know what a fuck nigga is. What is what is that? Um, no, because sometimes y'all gotta define shit for us because we just be on some shit. We just be out here living and we don't know. You know, like I feel like a fuck nigga is a nigga that lie. You know what I'm saying? Don't keep it a hundred. You know, a slime. That's a fuck nigga. A cheater. You know, like um, I really feel like a fuck nigga is like like a nigga that'll tell you. If you in, get into a relationship, they let you know everything up top. That ain't no fuck nigga, but nigga to feel like they got a sneak weed it and laugh at it. Like if you just be a hundred from uh from the jump, females will really respect you way more. Mm-hmm. But a lot of niggas don't do that, and they be fuck niggas like they'll lead you on and all that. Fuck nigga shit. Fuck nigga shit. Yeah. 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 So, so it's safe to say all y'all done had one fuck nigga. Yeah. Yeah. They ain't get so super mad when you do it. They don't want you doing shit they do, but. They on everything they don't want you to do. Like, a real mm. fuck niggas. They can't take what they dish. Yeah, mm-hmm. fuck niggas can't take what they dish out, period. She, she bad. They can't breathe. She, she, she vicious. <laughs> she vicious. <laughs> she, so, so how many you ran into? Um, Every bad I talk to been a fuck nigga. I think I attract fuck niggas or something. I might be a fuck Damn. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she might be a fuck nigga magnet. <laughs> Just, <laughs> Damn. Damn. This will wait, hold on. You ain't meet one real one and y'all just ain't work out. Y'all ain't. <laughs> Even mug up on my face. I'm trying to get, get the tea. tea. They be on it. <laughs> them motherfuckers keep them around. They, they is motherfucking bodyguards. These motherfuckers right here, they about you. They about their friend. Trust me. They be on that shit. Now, they, listen, they be on that shit, on that shit. Now, now when you when you got with CMG, right, how did that feel? I feel like a superstar. You was like, it was on. Yeah. All that time, you sitting on the steps singing and shit, you never knew that was even going to be something that was going to happen. Man, I never knew I was going to be performing at the Gotti Badge. Like, yeah. one of the first times I got on the phone with him, I was like, I want to perform at the Gotti Badge. She was like, that ain't nothing. Mm. <laughs> but I was like, I always, you know, I done went to, I done went to the jumping phone, and I'm like, damn, you get on this joint, you. You made it. Yeah. So. When, 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 since you've been in the game, Cause they, but what did you do? Did have you ever hit the point where you do? Are you done something or somebody said something or, or artist came to you was like, oh shit, I made it. Did you ever have that moment yet? Where you be like, I made it. Oh, uh, when I first started blowing up, like a whole lot of people was DMing me. Like, well, the one that shocked me was Shaq, cause Shaq was one of the people. I'm like Shaq, you know. They used to be one of my. I used to be a Lakers fan when yeah. him and Kobe were playing. So I'm like, damn, Shaq, nothing. Shaq say my shit. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, then everybody just got to hit me up. Like, Bag, one of the people I looked up to. You know, mm-hmm. he a Memphis legend. So, he one of the first people to hit me up, too. And so, like, everybody just hit me up. It'll be a new person every day. I'll be like, oh, my God, these people did, like, <laughs> look up to their ass. It was crazy. How do you deal with the switching up? You know, uh, a lot of times when you get success, people change. You don't change. But yeah. they try to, they try to, they try to, you know, 
they try to lean on you with the manipulation shit like, oh, you want some other shit now. Mm-hmm. The text the texts start to get weird. Facts. You know, you know, when 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 you say no, now it turns into oh you you acting strange, you different, you don't Facts. spend no time, you don't call nobody no more. No, you wanted some fucking money. Facts. You ain't really call, no, you ain't Facts. calling. Only because I ain't give you that fifteen hundred. That's why you saying I'm acting new and I don't, I don't check nobody no more about to get you the fifteen hand. How do you deal with that shit? My do you know like me, I always been quick to cut motherfuckers off like before I had just blew up like last year, I had I had a way more friends than what I got now. It was like a lot of us. And I just I I cut my family off if I feel like you on bullshit. That's how I be. And so, like, soon as you show me one sign of that you on some fuck shit, like, I just cut you off. Because, like, if you do it right here, you'll just keep doing it. Like, it's in you. And I can't change that about you. So, it ain't no hard feelings. I just don't fuck with you like that. Damn, and so, shit. I never had no problem cutting people off when I feel like they on fuck shit. So, she ain't just fuck nigga free. She fuck friend free. Yeah. Fuck I'm family free. free. Fuck everybody. Fuck everybody. Yeah. I swear to God. Don't let her hot fuck up. I'm fuck honey yeah. free. <laughs> 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 Man, but I feel like you know what I'm saying. The people who I got with me now, I feel like they for me because I feel like everybody. Because I did a lot of cutting off right before I blew up, and it's like everybody. God was waiting on me to cut. Then was the people holding me back, like He was waiting on me to let loose and right, get away from certain people. So all that dead weight and shit. Yeah, huh? mm-hmm. so I could just go and be where I'm at. As soon as you start slicing and dicing. Yep. Uh huh. He started blessing, huh? He, so, right, I'm was, talking about as soon as I did it. I know. He was like, what the fuck took you so long to get rid of raggedy <laughs> ass Teresa? Yeah. I told, and, and, and I told you to get Jamila from a fuck around you, too, when she brought your fucking sneaks and then bring them yeah. back. What the fuck it took you? <laughs> yeah. All that damn shit. Now I can bless you. Here you go. You didn't cut off all the dip. Sometimes you got to change, you know, your, your circle sometimes to really... Because a lot of times, a lot of motherfuckers bring negative energy. I'm not saying that was your circle, but I'm saying in my circle, you can't even come around and talk about certain shit. No. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. You tell me who got some work in the hood, I'll kick you straight out the studio. Get the fuck out, man. Get out, man. They ain't the type of conversations I be around, man. I don't give a fuck about who doing what down and you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So certain energy, you got to keep that shit away from you. Yeah. And certain energy, you got to keep it around you. No matter if you go through the ups and downs. They always got to be somebody that be like, bitch, you tripping. Get the fuck in the truck. You drunk. Which one of them is that? They be drunk? No, 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 no. no, no. The one that'll check you. The one that'll check you. Who, who always well, first check of all, you? no, no. Who the one be extra drunk? These two right Damn, here. look. I knew, I knew she was a motherfucker. These two right here. I told you she was something else. That one and that one. Ain't met a Casamigos bottle they ain't like. They don't two be the drunkest right there. Nah, they don't. She don't be drunk than y'all. It's these two. Is she number one though? Look, she threw everybody out. Yeah, everybody be fucked up. Except me. <laughs> but no, who the one that'll check you? Um, <laughs> Like if you want some bullshit, they'll be like, yo, no, you want some bullshit. They don't give a fuck that you got money. I don't be on bullshit. Oh, you just, oh. Oh, hold on, it's her. It's her right there. I already yeah, seen she it. She'll Because she said, I don't be on bullshit. She said, yeah, <laughs> bitch, she lying. You was on some bullshit last <laughs> week. <laughs> Y'all check each other Cause yeah. I, I don't see nobody Shut a little chicken tender up <laughs> Yeah me Ain't nobody <laughs> She socked me and shit She the littlest one and shit <laughs> She socked the shit out of me man. Honestly though I feel like um, When I do be on bullshit See <laughs> I ask them first. I'm the type of person before they check me, I ask you, am I wrong? I always ask them this. They'll be like, nah, bitch, you ain't wrong. You right. You a bitch. Yeah, you know that, but they'll be like, well, you know, you got to look at it like this. But that's why I'm the type of person, I'm asking my wrong first. Before but, I just ask them, so I'll be like, y'all wrong. tell you you're wrong, though? All I don't even tell me. If they oh, think it's okay. wrong, they'll tell me. How they say it, though? Yeah, right. I ain't gonna lie, bitch. Yeah, you bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie, you bullshit, bitch. You on some bullshit. Yeah. And then it be a group effort, and you like, all right, I gotta let me leave that alone, huh? Yeah, like if this the main one though, cause she think just like I me. told you, can nobody? I knew it. How about pick up? Yeah, I, knew I told you. But most of the time she be like, 
Hell nah, I feel you, fool. Oh, <laughs> You're wrong. I'm done. She, she the one what? allow you to fuck up too, huh? Yeah, yeah like, like the same yeah, she though, think though, just like, like you know, I call her my twin. Yeah. Like we think just alike. So if I ask her some shit. And she and she tell me I'm wrong. I'm like, damn, I must really be wrong because <laughs> she don't never be telling me. She be like, hell yeah, nah, you ain't wrong. Right. <laughs> damn. Should I go down and sock that bitch? Nah, you ain't wrong. Like, hey, yeah, 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 like I do. <laughs> <laughs> so when she tell you you wrong, you be like, all right, I must be. I'm tripping. Huh? Yeah. What's your name? Teasy. Teasy. <laughs> crazy, crazy, yeah. crazy. Uh-huh. That's crazy. Said. Oh now, God, I gave you a nickname. <laughs> crazy. Now uh, it's crazy T. Crazy T. Now you just you, what, what is the like the ingredients to your consistency? You just keep going. Like you come out like you know they they hear the one joint. You know people think oh yeah this is gonna be one. She one and done. Yeah. Then you come again. Then you come back, like you just keep like you not taking your foot off the neck of the game, and you just keep going. Like what is what is the ingredients to your consistency? How do you stay focused and just keep making that shit? Because like I know uh, it's people depending on me. One, then I remember the times when I wanted this shit bad. Like sometimes I get super tired. I be want to say fuck everything, but I be like, damn. I remember when I was begging for this shit to happen. Like I want, I was praying for this to be like this. So mm-hmm. like you just gotta keep it in their face. Now, now, coming out the new tape. Now, what, what, what was the inspiration into the tape? What was your mindset going into your tape? Um, you know, I just gotta show them what's up. Cause, you know, a lot of people did was calling me one. He wonder they were like, you know, she ain't gonna keep doing it. She just, I got fifteen seconds type shit. I'm like, All right, I'm gonna show y'all later. Then, you know. So. Yeah, and you just like fuck it now. Uh, I'm coming out type shit. You like I ain't coming out. I ain't playing no games with these yeah, motherfuckers. I'm here to stay. And it's like, and it's you no know, because like when you see it, it's like every time you look up, you got some new shit, and it's just it's coming out the cars, the girls, you know, popping their shit on Instagram. You, you know, you the soundtrack. Of the, you know, you just hear your music playing. It's just every time it's some new shit, some yeah. new glow shit. It's just always some new. I'm like, God, <laughs> fucking damn. TikTok up. Like, damn, what the fuck is you going on? You fucking TikTok And I did up. that unintentionally. Like, I do not, I did not like, like when I started blowing up on TikTok, I didn't know I was. People tell me, you know you going out on TikTok. Shit I ain't crazy. know it. Yeah. Shit I ain't know crazy. Shit crazy. Crazy. That's what's and up. it's just like, but, 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 but I love, you talk about like real topics. Yeah. That is so relatable. And it's like you, this shit. I'm saying to myself, she really going through some shit. She really living some shit. <laughs> like, this ain't this ain't no. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, I'm like this is some real shit she going through. Like yeah. th- that, that tomorrow. Just it, I think so many people can relate to it. No matter who you are, you can relate to the bullshit. Yeah. That you go through uh, just in life. You ain't got to be successful. You ain't got to be big. It's just that you just could be living your life. You could be working a nine to five. And in this world, in this day that we have, social media. It's like anybody bound, but bound to pull some nut shit on you. Yeah. Try to try to finesse you. Like, cause you know, we live in a world where everybody's a finesser now. Yeah. Everybody think you dumb. Mm-hmm. So it's like to hear that stuff, it's just like, man, that song is just like, phew. and you know, the production is just crazy. Do you pick your beats when you're going at this? You be like, y'all want that one. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, you, and you go right in. Like, I gotta hear myself rapping on it in order to do it. Like, mm-hmm. then that's another thing how I record. Like, if I don't think it's bumping, if I don't think, ooh, I ain't gonna record Like I write it And if I'm rapping it On the beat I be like nah I ain't gonna go record that That ain't gonna be no hit Who inspired you to rap? Chief Keef Chief Keef Ooh mm-hmm. You said I'm going in So you should just be in here In the mirror When you wasn't singing Gospel music You will be up in the In the joint Just rapping Chief Keef shit I got on Chief Keef In high school And you just was going in Yeah yeah Like I like that. I never heard no shit like that Like mm-hmm. I never heard Nobody <clears throat> turned and and he had that sound like him, so I heard him. I'm like, damn! Like, I used to, we used to be walking from school or walk from basketball practice. I used to have him in my earphones, and it's like he made me feel like. <laughs> this episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Owens Mixers. Just add Owens to kick up your pregame and night with a better tasting cocktail. Owens Mixer is the easiest way to make high quality bar style cocktails that will get you right back to the party. Vodka, tequila, or gin over ice, and just add Owens. That's all you gotta do is add Owens. Owens mix it pair perfectly. I'm talking about, this right here pairs 
perfectly to create the best American mule, vodka, cranberry, margarita, transfusion, and more. Visit owensmixer.com for more cocktails and where to buy nationwide, including clubs, restaurants, and arenas. Just add Owens Mixer to create great party cocktails. Easy to make, easy to buy. Go to owensmixer.com, Amazon, a GoPuff. Owens Mixer. Listen, listen, get the party started with Owens Mixer. And it's just like that. Oh, you sweet like, ball? I was, I sucked. Well, I but I did, know. though. You did. Great. How many points you had that season? Zero. <laughs> you ain't had no points. Damn. Oh yeah, you I was, was a damn. defensive type player. Oh shit, oh, you like me? Yo, 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 I never attempted. So you ain't you ain't got to attempt. You just playing defense, cuz. I told you yeah. that shit. She know what I'm talking about. She know the life. Like then, like I can't shoot on real basketball goals. Like oh, I can no, shoot I can on shoot the hood joints. The backboard. You can't backboard shoot on, <laughs> on the real goals. <laughs> and I'm a backboard shooter. You a backboard shooter. Yeah. She shoot on crazy shit. They ain't fuck with me on the street. On bad street basketball. I'm winning them all through the backboard. <laughs> See? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she, she was a hell of a street ball player and shit. Uh, you take it to the real shit. Now nah, I'm just going to play defense. Like, what? I, I'm going to steal the ball a couple times, but don't pass no, me that ball. That's because you wanted to fight a bitch. I know what you was <laughs> trying to say. She going to use all her fouls. Fuck a bitch up what? <laughs> yeah. 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 Say, bitch. say something. Say something. Little crazy be in the background. Little crazy be in the background. You foul that bitch. That's her. Foul that bitch. Yeah, yeah, that's the girl from what's her name? Foul her. I they, dare her to do something. They be on the way to the game. Look, bitch, you know you ain't gonna score. And then the bitch gonna <laughs> score on you either. You hear me, bitch? <laughs> yeah, hello, crazy. Tell me. That's how that shit be. So, the album. Who's all on there? It's an EP. The EP? Yeah. Okay. Who's all on there? Uh, Me and Cardi got tomorrow. Mm hmm. Then, Nika Poo out here. <laughs> okay. Big, that's big. That's big turn up right there. That, that's the guy. Big turn that's up. big blue. Big turn up. That's big, big blue. Turn up. That's big blue. Right that's, 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 that's big blue. We hit the club. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's the gangster back there. Yeah. yeah. She got her own motherfucking saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she ain't playing. Big B beat the bitches up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they go right in there. They start acting stupid. They all go, Big B's a bitch, bitch is up. <laughs> he playing. She gonna, she gonna put hands and feet on you, bitches. <laughs> so, go on, man. Like, you, you in the, I'm gonna say it. You in the top 10 in the game out here. Like, when you talking about just popularity, doing your thing, just glowing and talking about rap. And I'm talking about that with the niggas, too. Like, you were just out there. You just really going up. How do how do that feel though, man? Like, because I know sometimes you be an artist, you don't say it, but when you get behind closed doors, you say to yourself, "I'm the shit out here. I know I'm the shit. They ain't fucking with me." Look, you looking you looking at charts, you looking at all type of shit. You looking at Ant, you like, "Yeah, I did this. I'm this. This many people listening to me on Spotify. This many people on YouTube. You know how do it feel? You like in top ten out here? You know it's so crazy, and I get shocked every time. Like every time something new happen, I get shocked. Like. And I try not to like think of it as I'm the shit. I try not to think of it like that guy still feel like I ain't the biggest shit. So I ain't gonna just pop it too hard because I wanna, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't wanna get comfortable. Like, Later. yeah, I'm the shit. I'm gonna talk to you. That's when you get comfortable and shit right. like this. So I just, you know, shot him. But we okay. gonna tell you the shit though. Thank you. You know what I mean? Thank you. But yeah, What's... I be like, damn, this me. Oh. Right. But it's like, I just want more. Just want more. Yeah. Just what, the beginning. Mm -hmm. What's the best part about this shit? Is it the recording aspect in the studio with your girlfriends making it happen? Is it the the performing aspect of it when you come out on that stage and the crowd going crazy? And what's the best part about this shit? Um. The, is it, it might be the money. 
And like, because you know, it's, motherfuckers, motherfuckers come from a situation where they be so fucked up. It's like, I can't even lie. The money is the best part about this shit. I love everything about it, but the fact that I could feed my family, that might be the best that's part. That's what I was finna say. I was just finna ask you, like, because you were talking, like, you talking about what I do, yeah. how I make the music, and or you talking about a period overall. You know, you got some people that. The, the the best part of the process for them is making the music. You know, I, I, love, I just love to be in there. I love to make the music. I love to create. That's my thing. Then, you know, you got artists who, they, they best part of all of this shit is when I hit that stage, man, and they say, Yo, Gotti. Yo, Gotti. Jay-Z. Jay-Z. Some people, some artists feel like that's the best part about it. I love that shit. Some artists feel like the best part about this shit is the money. I was fucked up, man. I got the money now. This the be- What's the best part about this shit to you? I feel like the best part is, like, the happiness I hear in my people voice now, like, they ain't going through shit no more. Like, mm. it's, mm. like, different, like, when they call me <clears throat> now, like, they ain't going through shit. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no... Uh, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to lose this. It ain't none of that no more. Right. Then it's like I get to live like a little bit more free to like, it ain't, I got a lot of way more words now, but it ain't the words I had back then. Yeah. Like, it's better problems. Yeah. Yeah, I It's understand. better problems than it was back then. It's you know? problems that, that you would rather have over the old problems. Yeah. For sure. Facts. But, you know, I love the craft too. Like, I love rapping. Like, yeah. ever since I started doing that, I love it. Like, it's a... I try. I like. I work towards it every time to like perfect it, perfect my craft, and so it's like it's a hobby for me. You're and then st- it turned into a job. Really, it's my mm-hmm. job now. It ain't mm-hmm. a hobby no more. It's both on. Mm-hmm. But do you, you a studio junkie? I be so busy, you know. That's crazy. Like I don't even be in the studio as much as I used to be. Like I be in shows more. Man, let me tell you something. You always gotta find a way to to get that music done. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Always, I don't, I don't care if you gotta set your shit up in the studio. Get a mobile studio, and after you come from a show, two thirty in the morning, and you you gotta get to work because yeah. at the end of the day, you when when you hot, yeah, you got some tissue for it. When you hot, you gotta live in that moment. Thank you. And you gotta run that shit down while you can. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because everybody don't have a Drake run. Everybody don't have, you know what I mean? Everybody don't have that 15, 20-year run, but some people have an eight-year run. Some people have, it's just like, it's just like the league. It's like, like he was a rapper, he had like a three-month run. You know what I mean? Like, he's a <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, one of his main things when he that was special to him, he just wanted to smoke uh, smoke weed with other rappers. He didn't really care about the family and the money. Because he was a, he was a, he was a small town neighborhood rapper. Yeah, he just wanted to smoke he only had, Yeah, he didn't really have no goals. You see what I'm saying? Like yeah. you said, to take care of my family. This dude was a fucking D League rapper. He really didn't matter. You don't know you what I mean? Believe it. Don't you believe? Yeah, he just wanted. That's all he wanted to do: smoke weed with Snoop and shit. He <laughs> ain't want none. You know, you got real shit going on. You know what I mean? You're a big yeah. artist. You know what I mean? This dude never reached the heights. You know, that's that's what I'm just saying. Don't y'all fucking believe him? You hear me? <laughs> yeah. But shout out to you, man. Huh? I, I hear you. <laughs> what this is, ironic? What's she saying? Fuck with that oh, Thank you. you thank him? you. She knows what the fuck's First going on. First of all, let me just say something, right? right. Do you know this man? Had, he lying. He lying. He, this nigga lying on me. 22 jobs in jail. This nigga lying on me. <laughs> fuck out of here. You hear me? Y'all didn't know Fig that? Fake ass rap. <laughs> no, he, he, was, he, was, he was a big rapper. He was a big rapper. No, he yeah. was a pimp in jail. Get the fuck out of here. He had hoes in jail. Talking about was a pimp. He was. He had Ricky Minaj. Get the fuck out of here. Ricky Minaj. This nigga lying on me, man. This nigga lying on me. Y'all didn't know that? This nigga lying on me. He had Beyonce. This nigga lying on me, man. This nigga lying on me, man. Don't believe this nigga, Glow. This nigga's a goofball. Just say he was the captain of the wrestling team. He ran karaoke out night. Get the fuck out of here, man. Don't like touch he, me, nigga. He had a bunch of jails. Bum ass rapper. <laughs> <laughs> he was a bum ass rapper, man. Nigga ain't, nigga ain't making a man around the block. Nigga used to do show. He used to do shows and bars and shit. You know the little bars where the people just be like fifteen people in there. He go in there, do some, do, do a couple joints for some beer. He nigga wasn't nobody. <laughs> fuck out of here, you bootleg ass rapper. Hey, first of all, let me just say this: Her manager Phil was with me before he was with Phil her. Phil knew you was rapping around the way for weed. Phil knew what you was, was doing. Fuck blo- was you going was, on. you was performing at block parties for weed. <laughs> he wasn't even like, "Come on, bro." 
Phil knew what the fuck was going on. Shout out, shout, shout out to Phil, hey, though, man. Shout out to a whole management oh, team. Huh? Yeah, don't try to ignore it. I, I heard you spit something. Hear me spit something? Yeah. Uh, let me talk to her. I talk fly to her. She talks slick back. I mean, your ass so fat, my, I give you that. Shorty asked me for a stack. I'm like, picture that. I looked her in her eyes. Bitch, where your nigga at? <laughs> <laughs> You need me to keep going like that. Uh, don't, don't listen to him. I got my fucking songs roll with Yo Gotti. Fuck, you think Gotti was giving a nigga a verse who couldn't talk that shit? No, he wasn't. He had me yeah. fuck wrong with me. some of that shit. Hater. Now he wrote my shit. I wrote some of that shit. I, from my, I, was, I was a bar of rapper that he wrote my shit. He's a something. You hear me? <laughs> fucking rapping for weed. You know now you got nigga. the EP coming out, right? Tomorrow, Friday. How does it feel? I'm excited, nervous. Don't be nervous. It's gonna go. My anxiety uh, through the roof. Well, <laughs> all in one, huh? Yes, yeah. like she, look, cause she got an EP, an EP coming out. Now she got PTSD. Is she my PTSD <laughs> acting up? My, my anxiety yeah, is. Good. <laughs> Don't worry about you this. You gonna be number one? Don't worry about it. <laughs> you gonna do good? You be number one? You gonna do Don't worry about good. it? And let me just tell you something. And if you don't go number one, you just keep working. Sure. It's just a process, baby. Everybody come out, don't go number one. And then when you do, because let me tell you something. It may be God may be like, listen, all right, I got you there faster than a motherfucker. Now, I just can't give it all to you right now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I got to make you work on something. Yeah. I got to make you put a little bit more work in. Here you go. Here you go number two. Here you go number three. But guess what? You number one in your world. Yeah. Because just back in April, where was you? Right. You just had a dream. So don't ever feel like, oh, I didn't go number one on the chart, so I didn't. No, 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 no. If you do, it's great. But what you doing is great. Yeah. So don't ever be judged by these numbers out here because there's a lot of fucking fake numbers going on. Yeah. And you might have really sold more records than a motherfucker that beat you. Just yeah. understand that. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be a lot of cap. There's a lot of crazy shit going on out here. So understand so don't get down on yourself if you don't meet your full expectations that you thought you was gonna meet. Just let that shit fill your fire to work harder. Yeah. That's all it is. Feel yeah. me? Yeah, and like what 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 million dollars worth of game would you give to that sister that's out there that was in a situation just, you know, that's trying to figure out life. That don't know what she want to do right now, but she she knows she want to do something. Like, what game would you get to her? I say, until you figure it out, find you a hustle, make your money, and like you gotta have something figured out. Though. Like you gotta have a goal, and you just gotta work towards. You gotta manifest. Like it's a whole lot of power in your tongue, and you just gotta speak it into exist existence and work towards it. Did you used to have a vision board or like a journal? I didn't. But I just always knew I wanted to be a rapper, that a big a big time rapper, and so I I never stopped putting out music. I got discouraged a lot of times, but I ain't never stopped. What's, what 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 discouraged you? I had started going broke. I had started. I had lost. I was losing everything, like my apartments, my cars. I was just almost down to nothing. It was like when that was. It was like the end of last year and the beginning of this year. And, like, I was just all the way started over. And I was like, damn, I'm finna have to go back to work. You know what I'm saying? But I always knew working one for me. Like, I ain't never want to work well, no where job. Where was you working at? My last job I worked was at Walmart. But that was on New Year's of last year, like 2021 New Year's. Okay. You walked out. Yeah, that was my. <laughs> you that walked, walked out? Yes. Nah, I didn't do that. Tell me you took a TV with you or something. <laughs> Fuck you, bitches. Take that 42 inch. <laughs> Kareem, get the TV. Walmart actually was my favorite job I ever had. Like, what, I where? always wanted to work at Walmart. Walmart growing yeah. Up. But they weren't paying shit by the time I started working there. But I just I always wanted to work there. No, so they bad. weren't paying shit by the time. They was never paying shit. You're yeah. talking about the time I started working there. You had to be a manager or something. You had to work yeah. your way up to get some chicken there. I just wanted to work there, though. And so yeah. I just was like, I'm just tired of working. Like, working, I just always feel I can't work no job. Like, I, I want to be my own boss. And so I was just doing shit, surviving last year, and then like it got to the gritty part. I started just getting broke as hell, and I was living with my friends and shit. 
Yeah. Who took you in? Spicy little chicken tender bacon. She was last. It was Gloss first. Then oh, Gloss, Gloss got, took it. She got in the fucked up situation. Both of us fucked up. Damn. So she out live for her. She like, Gloss, I need to move in with you. She like, come on, bitch. And then she got this. She like, I'm three months behind. <laughs> 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 bitch, Look, we finna have to go live with Big Beasy. Be the bitch up. <laughs> and you know, you know what, you know what's so beautiful about this shit, though. <laughs> like, 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 like this was so beautiful about this shit, you know. And I and I think people out there that's watching this, especially the sisters that be going through so much. You got two young girls right here, two sisters, right? They was shit was fucked up for them, and now they they up. They both got deals. They both over here shining like a motherfucker. All them problems that they had, we talking about, what, 10 months ago? No, like eight months ago. Eight yeah. Months, eight months yeah. ago? Like, this shit was tight for them. And now mm. they just they just kept all off of just being themselves. They ain't do nothing. They ain't, it was no extra shit. No add-on, no extra flick. Just, I'm going to just be myself and look at that shit work. Look at how far being yourself go, could go in this fake-ass, cap-ass world. And now they up. They ain't got them problems no more. They ain't worrying about... You know what I mean? They, they ain't worried. These they 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 arguing about who gonna pay pay for when they go on a shopping spree now. <laughs> Think about that shit. That's major. So y'all got to look at that shit and say, damn man, that that's really a million dollars worth of game. Because and, and the fact that you ain't put no cap on it, she letting you know I'm a real person. I was fucked up. All of us go through this you know parts in life where we be fucked up. But everybody be acting like no, I got. No, nah, they. She said, "Nah, I ain't gonna cap on the gram. You know, on the gram. You know, in the ghetto, we we act like we ain't fucked up when we is." Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. that's, that's what Damn. I was doing. I was making this shit look good here. Nobody knew I was broke as fuck. Both of us, all us broke as fuck. Yeah. They ain't nobody know it though. We was still dropping music. Who was I mean, you ain't never supposed to let them see your yeah. sweat. Dude. You ain't supposed to say sweat. You ain't never <laughs> supposed to go to the side. I mean, dead to pop. No, you mean you still gotta hold your motherfucking. Yeah, just, yeah. You know what I mean. Have a sense of pride. I'm still keep my shit together. Like, like, cause back in the day. He had some situations. I was calling for prison. I was like, damn, cuz, man, you, you holding on? He's like, yeah, man, it's rough. But I just connected with this boy. Dude, he make the best fake jury in, in, in the country. <laughs> so he had a bunch of fake jury on his, and back in, you know, my space and shit. So he was cool. You know what I'm saying? That was his fake it till you make it joint. This is before the grand shit happened. So he had one of the best fake jurors. Hey, you know what this is? Right, the jury test. Oh, yeah, go get it, bro. Hey, Lord, like, hallelujah. <laughs> First of all, let me just say something. Let me just say something. Because you're a little young. I, I started the Diamond Tester Challenge. You did? Yes. Okay, then. That was me. They had the dude that, had that was fake, me that had all the niggas tester. running around it was, and hide it was a that fake, shit. It was, that was back in 2012. It was a fake Diamond okay, Tester that he had for his jury. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, real real diamonds, it'd say it was fucked up, but his shit. He had this unbelievable jeweler, man. <laughs> I mean, this dude was unbelievable. But but what I'm saying is, though, like. This episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is brought to you by Game Time. Stop playing right now. Whatever you're doing, if you're into sports, you like concerts right now, download right now. Download the Game Time app. Listen, your first purchase is going to be $20 off. You're getting $20 off. But one thing about the Game Time app, listen, it was created by fans for fans. Game Time is a new ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows, and they guarantee the lowest prices. You get listen. We talking about the lowest prices. That's why you got to download the Game Time app right now. It's possible with any. I'm talking about with the Game Time app. The biggest last minute price drops can be found on the seats you thought you never can buy. I'm talking about you got a lot of shows coming up right now. I'm talking about New Year coming. Up, a lot of shows coming up. Uh, sporting events, anything you want. I'm talking about get tickets to concerts, NBA, NHL, all the game. I'm talking about on the Game Time app. Everything you thinking about, you can get. I'm talking about. But once again, guess what? Twenty dollars off. You're getting $20 off your first purchase. Download the Game Time app. Uh, go to the account tab to create the login and redeem code DOLLARS, D O L L A Z, for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Now, listen, what are you waiting for? Download the Game Time app. Last minute tickets, lowest prices, guarantee it's just like that. Welcome to another episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game Business Spotlight, where we give you the news you can use and help you get off the couch. Right here was a legendary no, historical you couch. You put that on me every motherfucking you was episode. Couch you was laying on your mom's couch. I was out of my motherfucking mom's house at 18. Never you was laying on your mom's couch. You know that, nigga. You was laying in his mom's couch, but all you I'm couch. Similar were- to him. Yeah, yeah, you young like this. Yeah, young nigga, <laughs> half a million dollars by the time he was 20. Listen, nigga, 21 now, he am an M duck. I ain't talking about the white boy on Interscope. <laughs> listen, Ty John, he listen, he took social media, right? Mm. And he leveraged it to put that I'm talking about socket to his pocket like a rocket. He knew mm-hmm. how to use it. So what he's got it is he's gonna give it to you for free. Your 10K 
IG success kit. I'm talking about what you need to do. You need to type MW text MWG to 833-451-3143. 833-451-3143. Text MWG and he's going to give you a free course, a free book. But listen, let me explain this. You was 20 years old. Touched the touch the half of him yep. off of social media. Off of just Instagram. How did you do that? Well, first let's start here. A lot of people let Instagram use them as opposed to them using Instagram. And then once I came to the conclusion, I was like in my bed one day and I was like, yo, well, I'm spending all this time on this app and I'm making no money from it. All right, where I come from, like, all I'm thinking about is money, 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 money since I was 15, selling candy out of a lunchbox. All right, so long story short, I ran into, yo, you can make a bag using Instagram. I was like, let me test this out. Let me pay, the pay, let me pay this page $20. Let me pay them $50. Let me see what it can turn into. Yo, one time I paid a page $50 and turned, to, turned it into $3,500 in 24 hours. I was like, yo, this is like, this is how you flip money. Took that 3500 boom, let me dump it into a bigger page. What's the product you were selling? I was selling a course teaching people how to build, sell, and create Shopify stores. But what I realized is this works with any business. This could work with a clothing brand. I don't care if you do lashes. I don't care if you do hair. I don't care what you do. There's no reason why anybody should start a business and not start making money right away. A lot of times we start businesses and we never think about how we're going to market Instagram is the cheapest and the best way to market any business hands down right now. And you're right because a lot of times, especially us in the hood, we think we just going to start a business and everybody going to give us shout outs mm-hmm. for free. We don't understand. You mm-hmm. can pay. It's so many people out here that you could be paying to repost your stuff. Exactly. So think about it. The Shade Room has over 27 million followers. Let me ask you a question. If the Shade Room gave you a post for free right now and say, yo, Wallow Gilly, we're going to we give you a post. Just send us the content. Yo, do you think going to make money and gain followers if you're promoting a product? Yeah. Then why why isn't everybody doing it? But they're not giving it to them for free. They got to pay for it. it you you got to pay to play. This is a game called life. Like That's what it is, and that's what people need to understand. But what I realize is, yo, you, I'm paying these pages $50. I'm making back, yo, let me get this $2,000. You, you're maybe. paying the small people. I'm, so let me give you the game. So I'm starting off with the small pages. I'm talking about 200,000, three, four, 500,000 followers. Yo, they want only $100, $200. A lot of times these pages don't even know how much money they really making me. I give you $200, boom. Let's say you got a page of 300,000 followers. I get posted. Yo, you just made me 1500 Now I just turned that, what was that, two three hundred $300 into 1500 Now let me get that 1500 Now let me go to a page like Spiritual Word. Let me give them 1000 Now let me get on a platform I went from going, going on a page with 200,000 followers to a page with over a million followers. Let me get that 1500 boom, sent to them. Now they just made me 6500 in 24 hours. Now let me get that 6500 Then let me go to Shaver with over 27 million followers. Yo, this is how you flip money. Mm. And this is what I'm trying to teach people. Like Talk any heavy, business, young nigga. any. <laughs> so you saying rappers? Talk heavy, you saying, young nigga. You saying everything? Clothing line rappers? I don't care what bakery. it is. I don't care what it is. It could be anything. And the reason why I say it could be anything is because we live in a day and age where influence is a new currency. This is why Kim Kardashian charges a million dollars for a post because she knows how much money and value she's going to bring to a company. Now, your strategy may be a little bit different. There's not a one size fits all strategy for everybody in every business. But let's say you live in Chicago. Right, let's say you got a clothing brand coming up out of Chicago. Your marketing strategy may be different than me. You may reach out to a big page on Chicago, a big page or a big influencer from Chicago. They may want, let's say, a thousand dollars for a post, but they may have seven hundred thousand followers. They do that post for you. You sell out your first drop. Like you see what I mean? This is any business. That's major. That's I'm just saying. You know, I'm sitting here. Thinking I seen about you it. had like some type of plaques and shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the plaques. All right, so what's, I got this. I got the, um, I like to call it the number one Instagram training program in the world because nobody's doing what I'm doing at the level that I'm doing it at. So anybody that goes through my program, we reward you, right? You hit your first 1K in a day from Instagram, we reward you your first 25K month, your first 100K um, year with Instagram. And when you hit your first 100K year with Instagram, you get this plaque. It says your name on it. It says- it In honor of reflection. achieving 100,000 plus revenue generated yep. through Instagram. Yep. Yep. Instagram hacks. And the reason why I give this University. to everybody that comes through my program is because I know you're going to hit it. You just got to trust the process, man. Right. So Let me see that do. shit again, man. Come on, man. Don't just be throwing that shit on the motherfucking floor like that, man. talk about YouTube play Yo, buttons. Let's talk about Instagram this play buttons. This damn man look like our, our, our YouTube plaque, though, don't <laughs> Yeah, look, our first one. <laughs> okay, so you, yeah, I like that, man. That's mm-hmm. what's up, man. Do you're doing it. your thing out here. What, what, what I'm most impressed with is that you're 21. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? You could be doing a lot of other shit out here mm-hmm. that's not beneficial to you, to to the community, to society, to your family. And you chose to win. 
I really started hustling for real for myself when I was like 15 years old. So just give you a quick little backstory. Um, born in New York, raised in Atlanta, uh, single mom since I want to say the age of 10, 10, 11, uh, raising me, my twin sister, my brother, you know, doing anything just to get by. And I was like, yo, I really want some money. My mom, you know, you asked her for McDonald's. Ty, you got McDonald's money? Uh, no, I don't got McDonald's money. <laughs> I'm 12, mom. <laughs> nah, but, yo, I stopped. Yo, I used to have a passion for basketball, travel ball, all of that. 15 years old, I got cut from the basketball team. I was like, you know what? Let me not do this basketball stuff. Let me start really honing in, making money, start making money 15 years old. I'm talking spending thousands on mentors at 16, 17 years old because I understand the value in investing in somebody who's where you want to be. That's how you get to where you want to get to the fastest. Um, started doing that. Lost money, lost mad money. I'm talking thousands of dollars, high school. And then I ran to Instagram. I was like, yo, let me try this out. That's where we go to paint a page, boom, and that's how I blew up. But then here's the real game. Here's, here's, the, here's, the, here's the real game. You know how I told you I was paying these pages to post my stuff? I thought it was a no-brainer, made six figures. I was like, yo, why don't I have people pay me and I post their stuff? We always talk about real estate dirt in the ground, but we never talk about digital real estate, real estate online. So now instead of me going to these pages to pay them, now pages of people are coming to me to pay my page. On several pages, people don't even know. <laughs> you paying me 200, 200, 200, 200, 200. It cost me nothing to load up this, this little rectangular device, go here, go to Instagram, and press this blue post button. It cost me nothing. But guess what? You're going to pay me everything because I have influence. When I have influence, if I could blow up your brand, you're going to pay that bread. Right. And, yo, since I started doing that, I'm talking about five figures per month, 100% profits just for pressing posts on your phone. Mm. Damn. You yeah. out here doing it, man. But, but how did you how did you build your stuff up? from, from the, You build your pager from getting all the promo on, mm -hmm. from the other yep, shit. Yep, yep, So my, my personal theme page, I did it both ways. You could build one or you could buy one. I'm the type of person I want my stuff now. Like, I don't want to wait. You want my, how much you buy a page from my IG page? What so type of for, number count? So, for example, uh, my page I personally bought for $6,500 at 49,000 $49, followers. But here's the caveat. I used a business credit card, 0% interest for 12 months. Made my money back in three and a half months. Now that page cashes me five figures every single month. So I really got in this business risk-free because I understood the value behind this page. And the, the key to it is if anybody out here is listening and watching this, whatever that may be, if you're thinking about buying an Instagram page to start cash flowing you money every single month, the number one tip that I would give you, buy a page that has less than 50,000 followers because most people don't know the value in their page. So then once you start making money, mind you start making money, real money, like 70, 80K followers, buy that 50K followers, just that sweet spot. You dingle, dingle a little bit of money in their face and they're going to jump at it. Once you get that page, build it up a little bit. You hit 80K, 90K, 100K followers. Before you know it, your stripes going to be going off. Ding, 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 ding. And that's how you do it. That's the game. You know, I, I believe this nigga 1,000%. This yep. nigga's 21, and he said, let me give you the caveat. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, run that back, young man? <laughs> yeah. nigga, bro, he said some shit I ain't never. I'm like, yeah. I'm like this nigga's like a young tip in this moment. <laughs> he started breaking it down. <laughs> he started breaking that shit down. But um, so it was as simple as you used other pages to get your shit up. Mm -hmm. You want you bought a few pages. Mm hmm and now you eat. Now I'm eating. I'm eating real good. But the biggest part about it is I'm big on impact over income. So my biggest focus now is teaching other people how to do this. But instead of me teaching other people how to do this and I'm not doing it, I'm still in the game to this day. So I'm teaching everybody. As I'm getting it, yo, I'm pulling people up with me. Yo, you get it too. Because I understood when I was where a lot of these people are, I didn't know. I didn't have a mentor. I, I really learned doing this by losing thousands of dollars. Now you got somebody who's guiding you, teaching you how to do this step by step so you do not miss a step. Any business owner, anybody, I don't care who you are, come from all walks of life. You can make a bag owning these pages. You can own a bag, you can make a bag building a clothing brand. I don't care what it is, lashes, whatever. I can teach you how to blow up your Instagram. I'm not talking about just your Instagram, your followers, but also gaining sales for your business. All with just yeah. yo. You ever do you ever do music artists? Uh there's a play behind music artists. No, I haven't, but there's a play behind that. Uh, give it up. All right, so boom. So you ever heard of Say Cheese TV, for example? Uh -huh. Academics, you know, all of them, right? Yo, they make bread from posting people's stuff. So the idea behind it is, let's say you're an up-and-coming music artist. The play behind this is, mind you, your, your, your music can't be trash. 
All right, but let's say your stuff is fire, right? No, everybody think their music is yeah, good, so there's yeah, no trash yeah, music out there. Yeah, you, nah. you can't even say that because people get offensive. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not, tra- you know, you can't even say that's hate. You know? <laughs> can't tell a motherfucker he ain't got Everybody's no super, you know, super, you know, just emotional. emotional. You know what I mean? Nah, you can't say nothing. Hundred percent, hundred percent. So what you do is you hit up these big pages like Say Cheese TV, uh, academics, right? You'll email them, do whatever you got to do to get in contact. Be like, hey, how much would you charge to get posted? Hey, how much would you charge for a promo? They're gonna get back to you with their rates. You give them your most fire stuff. Stuff, you send it to all the biggest pages all in one day. Let's say you hit up five big pages over a million followers each. Yo, you're gonna gain traction. It's gonna be somebody out of those millions of followers. I tell people this all the time. These pages have millions of followers. There's at least a hundred thousand people that's gonna rock with you. All they need to do is hear who you are. They need to see you. That's a that's a problem that a lot of businesses and a lot of people are having. Visibility. Mm-hmm. If I can, if you can get visible, if you can get eyes on your brand, anything that you do, you're an artist. I don't I don't care what it is. If you can get visibility, you straight. And the quickest way to get visibility in today's day and age is leveraging other people's audiences. OPA. That's influencer pages. That's influencers. It's it's whatever. OPA. Other people's audience. Other people's audience. Take you, but listen, right now he's going to give you his free his free. Um, your 10K IG success kit. He's going to give you the success kit. All you got to do is text MWG to 833-451-3143. 833-451-3143. That's MWG text. And he's giving you your 10K IG success kit. So you can what is inside of the success kit? So basically inside the success kit, I'm giving you everything you need to be successful. Not only are you going to be getting a mini course on owning a theme page because, you know, it's different people that want to make money different ways through Instagram. But it's also, yo, how to go viral on Instagram, how to gain your first 10K followers in seven days. Yo, I'm giving you everything. You're getting four guys and you're getting one mini course. This is the ultimate package you need if you want to make your first 10K using just Instagram. This is if you are uh, you want to be an influencer, you want to blow up your brand. I don't care what it is. You got to have a restaurant the same way Slutty Vegan went viral. I could teach you the same thing. The same way Fashion Nova went viral, I could teach you the same thing. Mm. The same way a lot of these artists go viral through social media, I could teach you the same thing. Mm. And my biggest goal is, yo, I'm gonna pay. I paved the way for you. I, I I walk so you could run. Yo, I'm giving you everything in a success kit. Mm. All you need to do is follow the guy step by step. Uh, stay true to yourself, and obviously take action. Because a lot of times we we have the information in front of us. We just well, do we'll nothing with it. Yeah. So so basically, a person could just keep flipping. They could start with. <laughs> No, that's 30, the, 40 dollars. That's the flip king. 30, right no, there. like real life flip. Like people always say, yo, if I got a hundred thousand, I'm gonna flip this. How you gonna flip it? I don't know. Like, this is really flipping money. I took forty dollars, fifty dollars, however, however much my first promo was, took that money, boom, made back, let's say, seven hundred. Take that seven hundred, and now I'm gonna invest into two pages that cost two hundred. Take that money. Every time I'm like getting money back, I'm investing into a bigger page. Now here's the play. I'm getting all that money from my theme page, five figures a month just from pressing posts. Now I'm gonna take that, go to the shade room, get on a page with over 10x the amount of followers I got. Yo, now you're gonna get now that I'm gonna bring all that traffic home to me. That should be jumping. Look at this nigga. That's Taj, the king of flipping. Yeah. <laughs> that boy, he's a, he is he's the flipper king. <laughs> he's IG he's, flipper. He's just the IG flipper. O- this nigga OPA, just flip <laughs> other people's audiences. Yo, that was yeah, crazy. OPA, crazy. that was I never shit. heard that shit. He said a OPG, bunch of shit I ain't never heard of. I heard of OPM, other people's property. Mm-hmm. Other people's money now. Other I heard people's of OPB. Other people's bitches. Oh, yeah. Other people's bitches. Yeah, that's another story. <laughs> I ain't never heard of other people's. What, he, what was that? Other people's audiences. Other OPA. People. OPA. That's, I think he making up shit too. It sounds good to OPA. That's my no, shit. I own that. He, he got that shit. He got that shit all copywritten yeah. in there. Now listen, T. Before we get out of here, man, give us some game. Give the people some game, man. It's just they're just trying to figure it out, man. Yeah, let me give what you advice. You'll give. All right, bet, 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 bet. So if you're looking at this and you want to start making money from your Instagram right away, I'm talking about as soon as tomorrow. Let me give you a few good pages that you can use. Reach out to and get on their platform. You're gonna DM them. It's eight word phrase. Hey, how much do you charge for promo? The reason we said it's eight word phrase because it's short, sweet, simple, straight to the point. Mm. If if you say anything more than that, these pages are getting thousands of DMs every single day. You're going to get lost in a message request from the haters of the page, the fans of the page, whatever. We need, we want these pages to know we about money. Hey, how much do you charge for promo? Next, once you have that down pat, what you want to do is reach out to these two pages, right? Black Wealth Crew is a really good page, and Black Hustlers Club is a really good page. Those are really good pages that you can use today and start leveraging your Instagram and when you reach out to these pages, when they say, hey, what kind of content do you want to post? The best kind of content to post right now are reels, 20 seconds or less, value, valuable and entertaining. The reason we keep it valuable and entertaining is because we want to retain everybody's attention span. And then you're going to bring all those followers back home to you. You're going to gain mass sales. And, hey, just thank me later. Believe that. Well, make sure you give them that number one more time, love. Listen, man, that number is 833-451-3143. 833-451-3143. 
text MWG. He's going to give you your 10K IG success kit. Todd, man, we appreciate having you. Listen, man, this boy right here. 21. Uh, oh, 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 OPA. <laughs> like we gotta, we, yeah. That's his new name, OPA. Yeah, if you want to use my motherfucking audience, yeah. you better come yeah. with some goddamn <laughs> M&Ms. His name is OPA, and that's another <laughs> addition to Million Dollars Worth of Game. Business spotlight, and it's just like that. Right. Y'all both on now. Y'all both up. Y'all both signed. Y'all both got your bag together. And shit was just fucked up for y'all. Who used to be in the house cooking? Who used to kick the best chicken out of y'all? She do everything. This, <laughs> she's all perfect. Chicken no, tender. She ain't never cooked for me, but she can cook, though. Yeah, yeah you can cook. Like, yeah, you know yeah. She can cook. She can cook. Okay. Yeah, you want some chicken or something? You know how to make some good potato salad, She make the best rotel. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, you make the rotel. She make the best rotel. She make the best rotel. I can make the best rotel. Rotel. Hey, I can cook roast. Roast salad. I can make a good roast. What you say? I can cook. Like, they be telling me I can cook, but they never cook for me. Yeah, they never cook. That's the only one that actually cook for me. Oh, the air fryer. She used the air fryer. Oh, she's an air fryer. Okay. We raised a good one. She's an air fryer. AFQ air fryer queen. She the air fryer queen. Them spaghetti you made that time. Oh, my God. She made spaghetti in the air fryer? That was horrible. Oh, damn. God damn. 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 I was going to try a lot of about it. I used to cry about making no noodles. Oh, no. Oh, them noodles? Oodles and noodles? <laughs> she literally get mad. Them noodles? About oodles and noodles. They can't fuck with her making them noodles. <laughs> she made a chi chi on the streets. No, Not the chi chi. Them noodles. Yeah, they uh, ain't fuck with her making them noodles. Y'all eat noodles? Yeah. Yeah. But that nigga I ain't told him this morning. Jail. That nigga, that's all he eat is noodles. I ain't told him this morning. Soon as I got back. Tuna fish? Some oodles and noodles on the side. My man, shit. Oh, Y'all know that right. That shit ain't gonna never stop. The jail menu ain't gonna never stop. <laughs> no, gonna, oh, excuse me. Shout out to uh, Air Fryer. We got the uh, Air Fryer Queen over here. Get out of, <laughs> get out of socket to a pocket like a rocket. She, you, know, you, you know, some type of partnership. She need a brand deal. She cook, she cook noodles, spaghetti, in the air fryer. <laughs> get that paper to me. Ain't nobody. I never heard of no shit like that. How you cook spaghetti in the air fryer? In Don't this shit drip? <laughs> like, how the fuck you put a plate in? Like, she ain't cooking in the air fryer. Oh, I that was, uh, <laughs> She said, made me something. That shit just was bad. I just Damn. was like, oh, just shit. keep being crude and keep rapping. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you shit ain't fucking. That's you. great. Oh. Damn. <laughs> so, you, so you just fuck some spaghetti up, huh? She be making spaghetti. Like, she make the yeah, best. Yeah, she made us. Oh, she Can't do. nobody fuck with my spaghetti. So all, wait, so all of y'all could just cook one dish, huh? She I make the make. best chicken. No, she and make steak. 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 Oh, steak. steak. She make steak. the best chicken. She make the best mashed potatoes. No, oh, no. Rotel. 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 The best what? Don't get on that picture, y'all. What'd she say? You make the best? Rotel. 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 No, I don't okay. know about that. She said Rotel. I can't vouch for her roast. She you say can. it's good. I never had it. But her Rotel. It's good. <laughs> she said it for me. It's good. And you don't cook <laughs> shit up. Do she don't do cook. shit. She just be gone all the time. She don't do shit. Where you have a cook? You <laughs> Motherfuckers get on here and start like, I do cook. I ain't cook shit. I cook. ain't cook shit. I make peanut butter and jelly. I ain't cook shit. I do be cooking shit. I can make good pasta though. But spaghetti, you good. I make, that all, I ain't nobody fuck with my spaghetti. Oh, excuse me, hold up. One more time. Uh, cooking Network. Holla at Big Glow. Uh, we think, I think some type of partnership right. is going there. She's a, a spaghetti queen. She know how to make some great spaghetti. I think y'all need to get with her. It's, right. it's, it's a partnership I see there. Fish? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, bitch, I make the best bitches in. Damn. She cooked Oh, no, we got to Did Gotti taste this shit? Oh, you haven't tasted that shit, G. Hey, Phil, you haven't tasted that shit. Gotti Phil, you haven't tasted that shit. Yeah, Gotti, Gotti had money so long now. Gotti be shit we never heard of. Like, Gotti be taking me to some goddamn... <laughs> man, man they be eating tacos by <laughs> this little for... That damn near be about $800. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Where the ghetto <laughs> shit is? <laughs> oh I hate going out to eat with them. Why you took that down to eat and you had some strawberry cheese? Oh, God. Man, they had some little shit. It looked like... Hold it, up, it look like some little no. It look like some small turkeys with some little bitty pickles on it. It's some. It's so fucking nasty. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. What's the name of that shit? Call y'all be eating. Gotti beans and bullshit. Gotti yeah. see. It look she like some wanna, soup. What that shit called? Gotti beans some expensive bullshit. So you saying you like nigga? Why you got me here? We pay eight hundred dollars <laughs> for these baby tacos. Then <laughs> now the chicken with the peanut butter shit. Yeah. What the fuck is that? That's just so shit. Gotti. See, see Gotti. The caramel chicken. Let me just tell you something. Yeah. When you've been rich, 
Hold up, yeah, when you've been rich nasty. for so long, you be start eating all type of niggas shit. eat all kinds of shit. Yeah. He eat all that shit that got flavor on it and all that. He don't want none of that shit no more. He get a whole Caucasian yeah. dish now. Give me the, the yeah with the yeah yeah low on calories. With yes, <laughs> gluten free <laughs> because you know what a nigga thinking now. <laughs> I got too much motherfucking money to die. I gotta live. <laughs> you can't have a heart attack out this motherfucker. I, I, I ain't eating that Miss Brenda's no more. All that motherfucking <laughs> that sweet potato fluff and the macaroni cheese with all the grease in it and shit. Now and he, the fish. Now he eat chicken once a month. Like, yeah, I'm gonna cheat once a month. Eat some chicken. That type of shit. All chicken. Rich I, need, shit. I need the chicken broiled. Don't fry it. Just broil it. Uh, you know what I mean? All that shit. Don't worry about it. You be there in a minute. You, gonna, you ain't be there next shit, year. Yeah, I ain't never eating that next uh, no, you didn't even worry about it. <laughs> I be like, where the ghetto food is? They be like, we finna go, go meet at a restaurant. Please tell me some black people shit. No, you gotta show up with Popeye and she ain't got a hand for that. I ain't for that shit, got it. Look, uh, last time we was in London, we went out to eat. I had a bag of seasoning with <laughs> You took a bag of season in London. Fuck yes. And you Fuck yes. Because well, they already know Gotti about them, them. This is a fucked up dinner she about to go to. <laughs> yeah. This dinner ain't got no seasoning on it. Yeah. <laughs> like, ain't got shit going on. Hey, be menus. You can't see the pictures and shit. Like, where the pictures at? I want to see what I'm finna eat. Yeah, that shit come out. You mad as shit. You I hungry. I don't even know how to pronounce that shit on the menu. <laughs> right. You hungry than a motherfucker. Gotti embarrassing you when you got to <laughs> order and shit. Can I get the, the shrimp? Tempura <laughs> with the with the Dula Paka key. You you pull you, 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 you gotta pull a waiter down so motherfuckers don't hit. What's the hockey talky yeah, sauce? Right there, right there. Yeah. Give me the shrimp tempura with the hockey talky sauce. All, right. <laughs> yeah. All that crazy shit. <laughs> shit be crazy. Absolutely, but it's a beautiful thing because you know what I mean you. From the looks of things, just nine months ago, you y'all didn't know how the fuck y'all was going. Right, you I know was out of right. your apartment. She, she was getting tossed out of her <laughs> shit. Motherfuckers eating sardines and crackers and shit. Well, no, that's some that's jail right. shit. No, no they, they wasn't in the jail. Street. Stop that yeah. shit, man. They they do do that that noodles. Noodles. It was noodles. They do that on the street too. on the street. People do that on the street. Fuck are you talking about? Oh, here, Phil and oh, his. They eat that shit. Phil, don't you eat sardines and crackers? Oh, he eat that shit. Fuck are you talking about? That's some more, that's some shit. It's nah, we eat them Hunts Brothers pizza from the food stamp yeah, pizzas. Oh, yeah. Food stamp pizzas from the corner Bad. store. Bad. Yeah. Bad. Ain't got to spend no cash. Three EBT, swipe. 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 Damn, she not pizza. playing. <laughs> Wait, so, so, listen. And you know they out of pot ain't supposed to be selling no hot food either, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know they ain't supposed to sell no hot food with the EBT, well, huh? Yeah, that Hey, yeah, the cost of Y'all be what? Yeah, they taking all that money, get in here. What you want? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, hot food, anything. Hunter Brothers, try, try one. Damn, is it nine o'clock? Yet? They be stopping serving them at nine o'clock. What's what time is it? It's early. Hunter Brothers, they be at any corner. It's only seven, seven o'clock. Any corner oh, store. Yeah. Corner yeah, store. Make sure we pull. You know what I mean? Hunter Brothers pizza. Hunter Brothers. Yep. Extra cheese. Yep. Extra cheese. Yeah. Little palm cheese on the side. <laughs> Got it like I ain't had one of them in 30 years. <laughs> I wouldn't dare eat that shit. It don't match my diet. Shit don't match my diet. My palate. <laughs> so, uh, how many songs is on the EP? Nah. Nah. Yup. Mm. Well, how you celebrating? When it can come out at 12 o'clock at night like everybody else shit, are you yeah, driving yeah, what you time celebrate? it's Where coming you celebrating out? Where uh, you celebrating at? you turning up at? New York. Oh, New York. She going to be in New York turning up. You performing? I had to catch it. <laughs> you performing? <laughs> we going to have a release party. Mm. Gonna that shit going to go up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm going to pull up. What day Phil, is that? We might fucking pull up. I yeah, get Phil, back you ain't invited us, you rotten ass nigga. Yeah, ain't shit, Phil. Do you all this time. Well, I feel looking like that. Phil ain't telling shit. We down the road from there. He ain't telling shit. You know, right. Philly and New York right there. If we get an invite, Phil, we we, we going to pull up. I'm going to be in Philly this week, though, doing, uh, you What's know, it? doing promo. Oh, All right, right, one right, day. I think it's Philly. a show or some shit. Yeah, let us know, Phil. Yeah. Now, now, what's your favorite city that you performed in that went crazy that you unexpected? <laughs> yeah, I ain't going to lie. They be turning yeah, everywhere. Yeah. It, ain't no, it, ain't no weird, it ain't no city that you really like. Damn, I love it here. I like this shit. Um, and it's so crazy. I only been there one time, and it was when I first blew up, and they gave me energy like I've been out for months, and it was Chicago. 
Chicago. We went to Chicago. They just gave me. This was like the second week after I blew up. It was the energy was crazy. How right? But I ain't that? been back there yet. I supposed but, to go but, back in December. But how was it that you used to grow up listening to Cheeky? Yeah. You go to Chicago, and that's where they really get that energy. Man, from. I'm like, I want to go to Old Block. Why? They like, no, nah, you can't go to Old Block. <laughs> 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 no, nigga. Oh, you want to go there? Like that's the White House or something? Uh, she <laughs> want to go there. You trying to go to Old Block? Let's go to Old Block. Do the dance on Old Block. Oh God! Well, fuck the security like this ain't God, ain't man. She not talk about going to fuck the old block. Get the fuck out of there! <laughs> I told you we ain't going to no blocks out this motherfucker. <laughs> we we going to the fucking venue, and you gonna get this check. <laughs> right. Get the fuck out of here. It's been a lot of places been turned though. Like when I had did the guy the bash, mm-hmm. they like went crazy when they heard me come out. Like they went super crazy. Mm-hmm. It was somewhere of- else. It was Savannah, TSU, Savannah. Mm-hmm. Uh, all these homecomings I've been doing, homecomings. killing them. You've been killing them homecomings. Yeah, them homecomings been turned. Well, like they be like, they be like, how you die? That's how you see it. Like the yeah. Gotti bash, when you, cause you know, it seems like Gotti was on the phone. Like, yeah, listen, I'm trying to sign you. You like cop a phone at the Gotti bash? <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, hold on, I'm trying to give you some money, but Fuck the Gotti money. bash. <laughs> Money. Like, what's up with the Gotti Bash? Like, <laughs> we gonna talk Gotti Bash, then we gonna talk about Gotti's cash. <laughs> what you give me? <laughs> See, he like, no, that ain't shit. I got you. All right, you get there, they go crazy. When you get off stage, it's, it's y'all like snapping. We was tired. Huh? My dad was there too. My dad, was, my dad was so surprised. He was uh-huh. super happy. But um, oh, the God of Edge, like, we was, I was like, I ain't like, I knew it was going to be crazy when I stepped out, but like, I came up on some superstar shit. I came from the flow and rose up to the stage. Mm-hmm. He um, did you like that? Uh-huh. He ain't do you like yeah. that. Yeah. She came out like Mike and shit. <laughs> 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 You know what's so crazy? I had on heels. I don't know why the fuck I wear heels because I can't walk in heels for the day. Yeah. But I, I was that. glad I ain't fall though. Mm-hmm. You dropping everything. Right. Oh, my fucking I, I ankles like did. this, huh? Like, shaking. Shaking. That motherfucker was shaking. <laughs> motherfucker ankles. <ain't. laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, but yeah, their, their response was crazy. And it felt good because it was my folks from Memphis. Like, Memphis yeah. turning me up like this. Right. Mm-hmm. Felt like, damn, I, I made it. Yeah. That's crazy. Memphis going fucking crazy. Because when you're an artist and you coming up, like, get dream beef to be seen by the world. But let's just be honest. Your dream be to rock the shit out of Memphis. Mm -hmm. Rock the shit out of Philly. Rock the shit. Because when you come out here and they submit it, they tapped out. When you come out in your own city, where Tapped it's out. always, you get the most hate in your own city. Effects. By far. Effects. Everywhere else you go, they be we love you. Mm-hmm. They ain't got no reason to hate you. Effects. When you get the city that hates you the most and love you the most, to all conform to even the haters is like, no. She. Oh, they got to shut the fuck up? <laughs> it's over. That, that, that's when you know. And they got to shut up. I'm on my way. That was crazy. It was crazy. That huh? was so lit. I feel so good. So good. Huh? And we rocked each other too. How many songs you did? I did F and F and Sit the Song. Mm. Yep. And it was up. F and F was the only song I had. I didn't, I hadn't dropped every, anything out the F and F yet. Okay. So the other one was a brand new you did it there. Now I said Tone was something I had dropped with the girls. Mm. All well, the girls I be rapping with. And you know, everybody in the city had already knew this one. Wait, like, so all y'all performed then? Yeah. <laughs> How I made you feel. Hold on, spend that motherfucking money. When she asked, I was like, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gloss, hold on, hold on, gloss. Pop your shit, let the world know who you is, what you represent, how do you, how you doing all that. Pop your shit, go ahead. It's QC Cutie, my name, Gloss Up. Mm-hmm. Now, now go ahead, pop your shit. But yeah, when she had asked me, I was like, Yeah, like it was, I was shocked. Like, I'm really glad to have a friend like that because most people would be like, Fuck the hell. You know, like, I'm just really blessed to have a person like her. Like she's so genuine. Oh, that's stupid ass. This is my stupid ass bitch friend. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her. She the one. G- bitch, stop crying. Nah. Push I'll be the one crying. Uh, you be the one crying. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> she was so. Uh, she asked me to perform. I love this bitch. No, <laughs> 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 
Okay. Y'all do. I ain't had no best friend Hugging like this him. shit out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Hey, well, listen, man. She got the EP out right now. Make sure y'all go get that, purchase that, stream that, TikTok that, share it, share it. Hey, now. You got anything you want to say before you get out of here? My, anyways, life's great. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> go run it up. TK anyway. no more. Go soak it all in. Straight bars, you hear me? Like, I got all the phone service in the world, you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Talk yeah, your shit. Bang. I'm just, I'm nervous, y'all. Like, I, I don't know. It's your time. I'm nervous about Friday. No, I wish yeah. I could go to sleep the whole Friday. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't be nervous. Well, well, let me say something. You got a great team behind you. Unbelievable you know I mean? team. Yeah. You got a, a wonderful setup. You got a... Some some great girlfriends. Seem like you got some good family. They came to support you. You know what I mean? Great management. It's only the beginning. For sure. You know what I mean? And I'm going to say this. This is off the record. It's like, I know people in, you know, different places. I talk to people, labels and all that stuff. You got some people that's, that really enjoy working for you. And putting the label, they really, like, really excited about you, and they enjoy your personality, how humble you is, and how you deal with them. So they really enjoy the push to make sure you got the best PR, to make sure you got the best marketing. So who you are is going to take you where you need to go at. Just continue to be you, man, because you got it. It sometimes it's really it'd be real hard for artists to have the people at the labels and all that that really want to work for them because they be having fucked up attitudes. But they people really fuck with you. And when I was saying that people really fuck with you and they willing to utilize all their resources in the building and outside of the building to make sure you win. So Friday, you're gonna be all right. Go. I'm telling you. Cause what? Anyway, life's great. Right. <laughs> and big DZ be the bitch, yo. We should not have told him I was the big one. Hey, we said the big <laughs> it is just like that. Right.